asking today, and this comes from a New York Times article, is do women need men? Audience, do we need men? to toe on this because the article, the article does. That was less than overwhelming. Yeah. I, I was trying to ignore it. I was like, I was really, I was, come on, everybody. It's a really Help slow me out here. Yeah. Anyway, according to this article uh, in the New York Times, it says that men are becoming obsolete biologically. Here's a quote. If men were cars, who would buy the model that doesn't last as long and ends up impounded more often? <laughs> That's an article. That's coming from a, a, an, op, an op-ed in the New York Times. I'm sorry. Uh, listen, the, on the Can flip side, flip there's a flip side. Flip, no. There's a new book, The Gaggle, that says that every woman needs a gaggle of guys to fill different roles in her life. I do believe that. Yes, I do. Yeah. We're going to leave this one to the experts, right? Yeah. Would you, would yeah. you do, do that? She is the star of VH1's Tough Love. She is a frankly Katie hilarious actress from my Mom. wife and kids and Martin and face you know and love Steve Ward and Tisha Campbell Martin Seasoned pro here now. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. um, so, uh, all right, Steve, uh, make a case for our existence. All right. Well, first of all, <laughs> this article was written by a biologist, not a sociologist, and his argument is about the fact that women don't need much biologically from men. They don't need much biological material we need from one men. Thing. Actually, 3.3 picograms worth of DNA, oh apparently, is all you need. Um, and so I think that what was really interesting is that he did glance over the fact that fatherhood is very important. And um, having positive male and female role models in a child's life is important. But there is an overarching issue here. Do women need men? I think you do. I think, I think it's a good thing to need a man. Do we need women? the one thing that was missing in this article was you don't know whose sperm you're gonna get oh. if you're just looking I mean come on if you're just looking at it biologically and you're just gonna get I mean it could be shacks that sounds like it's gonna hurt <laughs> if you it could be Randy Travis I don't think that's a good way to go <laughs> I, I think when and it comes to a male's role in a female's life in today's society, it needs to be one of pleasure and, and something that you welcome into your life, not, not one out of necessity. But it's a no fact. We have bigger egos than you women, okay? Just, it, it doesn't take much. You know, just stroking us a little bit usually goes a very far away. Look, I, as the father of a daughter, I mean, Tisha, I'd like to think that I'm, I'd like to think that Serena needs me. Right? Yes. No, absolutely. I am the mother of two boys and I have a lovely husband. I've been with for 23 years. How would I look calling him obsolete? <laughs> <laughs> or my boys for that that matter. I, I you know, I want them to know that they're loved and needed and and um, no, I I think it's more than just a sperm dome. There's a what, big, there's, I'm there's, sorry. there's there's something in the art, in this article where this gentleman talks about the fact that today women are the majority of college graduates, um, that women live longer and that women don't need a male partner to have a baby. Um, you you can do it with a, a turkey baster, but it, uh, it's, it actually it, says that. It's, it it's not as much fun either. Well, and no. it's, it, it, oh. Listen, I think there's something to be said about relationship in general. And the biggest problem that I see threatening this country today is the fact that people don't feel a need for relationship in their life. That's what makes us human, relating to other people. It's balance. It's compromise. It's sharing the responsibility and the risk and the burden. And if you don't want somebody in your life to share the responsibility and the challenges with you, then... Well, I think that could be... I, I have uh, one of my best friends is a two a two mother uh, mm -hmm. couple mm -hmm. and I think I think it's right it's co-parenting co yeah. it, it, but as long as you, you have, have to take to that share. journey with somebody yes. that's what's missing in this article yes, yes. but I, journeys with turkey basers are no fun <laughs> <at all. laughs> Uh, it's shocking number, by the way. We have uh, been asking you all day, and here, the poll results are in. Do women really need men? And 40% uh, of you said yes. Um, closing thoughts, Tisha? Um, I just, I need a man. Nice. That's just the bottom line. I need my husband. And that, and that is so attractive. I need a man. I need my husband.
husband, I need my boys, I need a man. And ladies out there, if you need a man, come to Master Matchmakers, oh, yeah. I'll find you one. <laughs> That, okay, plug for plug. Uh, Tisha, what do you got? Doing? Well, I'm about to go film an episode of Private Practice. When I leave here, I'm jumping back really? on a plane. Yes, I'm very excited. Congratulations. Thank you. I love that show. Thank you, me too. Hey, everybody, Tisha and Steve. Thank you very much. See, that was okay. Yeah. You did all right. Yeah. yeah.